Hey y'all, it's Sudsy Sunday. God, that's stupid. No, we're not going with that. We're not going with that. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, I just got home from the flea. I figured it'd be nice to have a, a cold beer after sitting out in 95 degree weather for a few hours. Um, grabbed out of I just I kind of closed my eyes and reached into the local box to grab a beer. So I don't know what I'm getting each time. And I don't know why they're called local. But, I mean, it's kind of local. Uh, there's the cap. Kind of cool. It's Drake's IPA. Drake's is in San Leandro, California, in East Bay. It's kind of near Oakland. It's two, three, four, four hours or so. I don't know. Something like that from Reno. Um, I guess there aren't that many breweries out here. But I, I think there's a few. Anyways. Uh, I guess it's easier to put together a local from some of the bigger ones. And there's some pretty small ones on here. Anyways, I opened it up with my handy-dandy 1966 Batmobile bottle opener. This is not uh, from 1966. It's the 1966 Batmobile. That's what it's called because that's when the show is on the air. Um, it's one of my favorite things is 1966 Batman. Um, actually, before I try this beer, a little story. Batman is one of my oldest memories. I was born in 1963. The show aired from 66 to 69. Now, I know where I lived at that period, which was a house in uh, San Mateo. I, I can picture the inside of the house. And also what I can picture is watching Batman. That meant I was watching, and I would... Every time they would get in the fights, I would have to call my mom and she would come out and read the biffs and the booms to me off the screen. Um, and that's one of the ways I learned to read, watching that. Because she said, eventually, you didn't want me to, to read them to you. You wanted to read them to me because you learned what they were. Which, I don't know. I like one of the things that she said I was reading by five. Maybe I was. Maybe I was reading that early. I mean, not big things, not like I said, not medical journals like uh, Senda did, but biffs and booms, and I think I could read a stop, you know, stuff like that. Like by four or five, you know, real young. Just words. But anyways, that's, that's just because of my bottle opener. That has nothing to do with this beer. Uh, it is an IPA, an India Pale Ale. India Pale Ales are the trendy beer right now. The hipsters drink them. They're cool. Uh, I happen to like them a lot. Now, I did some blind beer taste testing. Well, not really. I didn't know what was what. I just went. Um, there was a a uh, ale house near me when I lived in, in San Ramon. And I would go there every weekend and just get a different beer. And eventually I got enough. Had would have a beer. You'd check off the beer you have. Eventually I realized I tried all the beers to get yourself in the Beer Hall of Fame. <laughs> I got my I got my T-shirt. I got my and I got my name on the wall on one of those little keg things. It's kind of funny, kind of cute. Um, but I just kept saying this is good stuff, and I said, yeah, that's IPA. People like this. Okay, okay. And then I found out IPAs were trendy. So I I know I liked them because I like them before I know what they are. I didn't have to pretend. But anyways, this is uh, seven percent volume, uh, seven percent alcohol. It says uh, what they say a sixty. It's on this side. No, it's on this side. Uh, 64 IBU. IBU is International Bitterness Unit. It kind of doesn't mean a whole lot. Um, but the higher the number, the bitterer the beer. But kind of like Scoville units, there's a point where it's just done. You can taste no stronger and out about a hundred your taste buds don't register any higher so i mean it's a trend that some of these people it's hops that bring up the bitter and there are some companies that just started for the hell of it they have like a 3000 ibu you can't taste the difference between that and a, a 100 ibu but they do it just to do it, and I'm pretty sure that's the same way with the Scoville units on peppers. There's got to be a point where it's so hot, that's it. You can't taste it anymore. 
I don't know. I mean, I'm, I I like peppers, but I haven't tried any of those. But let's get some of this beer drink. It's a hot day. Mm. It's got a... I like it. Gotta like an IPA. It's a softer IPA, in my opinion. Um, 64, actually, I don't find that as bitter. I mean, I'd have to look in, because I used to drink Blind Pig when I was in the Bay Area. Unfortunately, you can only get Blind Pig and Pliny uh, the Elder in the Bay Area. They're from Russian River Breweries. Blind Pig, you can't buy anywhere except for there, because it's only keg. And Pliny is keg at select places, and they do sell bottles. Um, I would buy a bottle every now and again by going to Whole Foods. And you could buy two bottles every Thursday when they'd get their shipment in. And they would get two cases of 24, and then those 48 were sold out in a couple hours. I mean, that stuff is really popular. And if you look on eBay, just an empty bottle of Pliny is 25 bucks. The bottle. You can't buy the beer. They, you know, it's illegal to sell beer most of the time on those. But, uh, but the Drake is similar because they're both IPAs. They're just stronger IPAs. So it's softer than a Blind Pig to me, which is my was my go-to all the time. Uh, once, you know, unless there was something new there to try. <clears throat> Yeah, it's a nice beer to me. Um, it's not your refreshing, thirst-quenching beer. It's, it's bitter. It's got a little punch. <clears throat> um, if you like IPAs, you'll like it. I'm pretty sure Drake's is available across the country. And, uh, and I mean, if this if if you're not an IPA fan, you know, of course you wouldn't like it. And that's about it. <laughs> I'm going to enjoy the rest of this and uh, watch something on YouTube and then get to work. i got to go back to work after working, doing some of my internet sales. All right. Bye, folks. Well, cheers. That's, that's some good stuff.